What is going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to another video. Today is day number one of a new experiment that I'm gonna be doing. I'll be following a ketogenic diet in order to lose fat and take you guys with me in the process. See how I feel on it, see the results that I'm getting, the potential benefits and the downsides. I've tried this diet out many years ago and I actually got pretty freaking shredded on it, but there are also some things about the diet that I didn't like. So right now I'm gonna revisit the diet, try it out again, because I think these experiments are just really fun to do. Many people are very stuck into one particular way of dieting, one particular way of training, and never really open to anything else. And I've been there before myself as well. So I just wanna try it out again, be open-minded, and just give a different diet a go. Now my weight this morning was 88.6 kgs. That is the starting point. But you have to realize I've been cutting for six weeks already. And then I took a diet break of 10 days. So I've been eating around my maintenance calories with high carbs. So I'm holding quite some water now, which will surely drop over the next coming days, especially since I'm gonna do a ketogenic diet plus being a caloric deficit. So the macros on the diet that I'm currently following, which is a high carb diet, are 325 grams of carbs, 190 grams of protein, and 60 grams of fat. So that comes to 2,600 calories. My new macros on this ketogenic diet is gonna be a lot different. 30 grams of carbs instead of 325 grams of carbs. 180 grams of protein instead of 190 grams of protein. You don't wanna to be too high in protein on a ketogenic diet. And then 200 grams of fat compared to 60 grams of fat, right? So the typical macro breakdown on a ketogenic diet is 5% of calories coming from carbs, 25% of calories coming from protein, and 70% of calories coming from fats. So I think it's time to head to the grocery store because my diet is drastically gonna change. So yeah, I picked up loads of different stuff. So these are the main protein sources I'm gonna roll with. So these both have, you know, proteins and fats in them. So eggs, chicken thigh, bacon, which is nice because I don't really have that usually during a diet. Minced meat, normally I go for low fat option, but this is the regular one. So this one is very high in fat. And then I got a bunch of salmon here, which is high in protein as well, but also contains fats, omega-3, so it's very good. So I'm gonna get some fats from this as well, but I have some separate fat sources as well. So I got some unroasted almonds. Avocado, gonna eat a lot of this, I guess. Cheese, which is high in fat as well as in protein. I have different coconut milks here for sauces and things. Coconut oil for cooking, peanut butter, of course, freaking love it. And green pesto, I'm a huge fan of this as well. Now there is some carbs in this, so I cannot eat massive amounts, but a little bit. And then I've never had this before, but this is walnut oil. Per 100 grams, there is 100 grams of fat. Okay, so this is pure fat right here. I guess this could be really nice with some recipes. So yeah, just playing around with some different stuff. And then here I got loads of different vegetables, you know, tomatoes, spinach, broccoli, bell pepper, just regular lettuce because I cannot eat massive amounts of broccoli. For example, there are some net carbs in there. So lettuce can obviously eat a lot more of that, right? And then some cucumbers, which uh, is pretty much water anyway. So yeah, these foods will definitely be the staple in my diet. Quick announcement, applications for our Summer 21 Transformation Challenge are now open and this time with prizes to win up to 3,000 euros in cash. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. This is for men and women. You work with a coach. One-on-one, -on -one, it's either me or one of the other My Shred Lifestyle coaches. We're all qualified to help you, and this will be one-on-one -on -one online, so it can be done anywhere in the world. We have limited spots available, so you don't want to miss out. Over the years, we've helped thousands of people get in the best shape of their lives, and you can be next. So what are you waiting for? Check out the first link in the description box down below. Let's do this together. Here we go for meal number one during the keto diet. I'm pretty excited to have this piece of bacon here with the cheese melted in there. Oh, whoa, that is pretty exciting, eating this on a diet because this is sort of the opposite of what I you know, was doing, which was a high carb diet. Now it's just all fats, no carbs. I just had a big workout, got a sick pump, and I'm embracing that for now because during a ketogenic diet, that pump may be gone later on because you know now I still have the glycogen storages in my body. So I'm boiling some water right now. I'm gonna have the broccoli together with the minced meat. So this is what I'm gonna be cooking it in. Pretty weird substance. Got some pepper, salt, onion powder, and garlic powder in here. So yeah, I'm not super proud of this creation. Probably looks a bit boring, but hey, it gets the job done. So it's the next day right now, just doing some morning cardio. And my weight this morning was pretty shocking, man. I literally dropped two kgs overnight. So that's pretty epic, just by you know cutting out the carbs and replacing them for fats at the same amount of calories. But um, it is sort of what I expected in the next few days, but not like literally in 24 hours. That is pretty crazy. What do you think, bro? Is the boy getting lean? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, the legs. But the legs are showing. They're always pretty lean, but this uh, one paper cut. You guys haven't seen Stan the Man in, in the many videos lately. I think we so haven't trained for a while. We haven't trained for a while. A month. He's had a bit of an injury. 
I switched to functional training. I got an injury myself as well. <laughs> I already knew that, but yeah, I was like... I'm yeah. back to bodybuilding. Static Man is very happy. Happy guys. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Okay, what did you just say? Why didn't you tell him? Other than the fact that I had the sickest gas in the game, uh, what else did you just tell me? I looked at your face and I'm like... Your yeah. face is so small, you look like a baby. Three days at a keto. Three days. <laughs> it's the water weight. I'm dropping it quick, you know? It's a crazy difference. Crazy difference, yeah. yeah. If that keeps going like this, I'll be full skeleton mode. Your whole face will be gone. <laughs> now, one big downfall about the ketogenic diet that I did not forget about was that if you want to eat out or you want to eat with friends or family, um, everybody has to think of you. You have to know beforehand that you're going to eat with them, what you're going to eat, and you're gonna have to tell them that you're on a different diet, which uh, can be pretty annoying compared to, you know, just a regular diet where you can fit in all the foods you like. But luckily my parents have uh, thought of me. So I'm at the gym right now heading an upper body workout. Workout was actually going really good until I moved the shoulders. And like my triceps are always kind of like a weak spot when doing the overhead prep. But today, my tricep fatigue, even like on my first rep, I wasn't able to even lift the weight because it just felt wrong. It felt like I had some sort of cramp in my tricep at the beginning motion of the movement. I must have to do something with the keto. I'm not exactly sure what. I'm gonna figure that out. I've been drinking enough water for sure. It cannot be like sodium intake or anything. So maybe it's something else, I don't know. So you guys, I'm definitely feeling a bit like quicker fatigue. Like I'm losing a little bit of strength, but I'm also getting leaner. So it's not, it's not weird, but. Maybe it's a bit more than with the carbs. But the veins are still showing. I'm still getting the pump. Yeah. <clears throat> Today's a rest day. Now guys, the last couple days I've been eating the same foods every single day. The ones that I showed you in the beginning, the grocery hauls. So I've been eating salmon every day. I'm pretty much tired of like my eggs with bacon and cheese. I don't know, like it's been a couple days. I want to have some variations. So today, I felt like, you know what? I can have some freaking chicken wings while being on this diet. So that is awesome, man. I really look forward to this. Now, obviously you gotta watch it while eating chicken wings. You cannot go to the KFC and have like, you know, the ones with the crispy outside because that's where the carbs are at, you know? Mm. That skin. No wings for you. Ah, oh. oh, fucking head. <laughs> There is not that much variation in this diet. I am missing some fries with this, you know, that, that will make it complete, but cannot have everything. So today's a rest day for me, as I said, but I'm supporting dad here in the gym, making mad gains. Yes. And one thing I've been noticing, guys, it is 6.30 by now, only had two meals today. Um, had my last meal about like one and a half hours before training. I just had a really busy day. But now during keto, it's like, I seem to just forget to eat because my hunger is a lot less than it is, you know, while I was on a high carb diet with the same amount of calories, I feel like, you know. So I do feel like in terms of appetite, this is very, very nice for me because I'm a very hungry guy. You know, that's one thing that I always struggle with during a cutting phase. So I'm definitely noticing that. As far as my energy, I cannot say that my energy is a lot less, but you know, it's only been a couple of days. So we'll see how that goes. So I just woke up and it's morning, hit a new low weigh-in, so that's awesome. And the lowest one during this cutting phase so far. So uh, I'm happy and I think we can definitely tell I'm a bit leaner than last week. The shreds are coming in. So guys, it's been a week on a ketogenic diet and I'm gonna share my experience. So first of all, you can definitely tell that my physique is looking different, but it was also in different lightings during the week. Um, I lost some weight, but how much of it was fat? That's kind of hard to say, because now it's two days later, I started introducing carbs again in my diet and I already gained back one and a half kgs, you know? So that's sort of what I lost on the first day as well. So there's just like water weight, glycogen. So during ketogenic diet, it just appears that you lose a lot of weight, but it's not necessarily fat. It's something to keep in mind. Now let's get into what I found are pros of the ketogenic diet. Uh, so less hunger was definitely the biggest one for me. And that's one that I really enjoy because I always have a hard time cutting down because of hunger, like staying in caloric deficit. I always make it happen, but like, it's just 
a battle, right? Now during this keto diet, my hunger pretty much started disappearing after a couple days. And you know, the combination of the fatty foods, you know, the protein and the fats, they just keep you very full and fulfilled. Uh, so you don't experience much hunger. You don't have all these blood sugar spikes. And therefore another pro is also very stable energy level. Uh, stable energy levels and mental focus during the day. Like the whole day, uh, you're just you know able to like do your work, be very focused. Because when you're eating a meal that's rich in carbs, you always get this you know, down after the meal, right? Especially when it's like a big meal. And now during a ketogenic diet, even if you have a very big meal with a lot of fat, uh, you still don't feel that energy drop afterwards where you get very sluggish. So that's something that's pretty nice during this diet. Uh, your energy levels are stable throughout the whole day. Another pro is fast weight loss. So if you have something that you're prepping for, you want to get super lean for a photo shoot or something else, you know, like a weight class when you do a competition, then you know, it's nice to drop weight really quick. But other than that, I don't really see a reason why this is necessary. So this is only useful for very specific goals. You know, another pro is that food is pretty freaking delicious if you like, you know, these type of foods, right? Now I do, you know, I, I love eggs with bacon and cheese and like all the fatty foods. I really like it. But I got to say, after a while, I got tired of it as well. But if you like this food, uh, that's definitely a pro because these are foods that you normally don't eat during your diet. So it felt very controversial, uh, but it was nice. Like it was very enjoyable uh, eating these foods during a diet. Now let's get to the cons. And for me, there are plenty of cons during this diet. First of all, weight training definitely took a toll. You know, um, I started to get really fatigued in the gym. I have very stable energy levels throughout the day, like more of like the mental clarity, the mental focus, you know, for work, that's all nice. But when I, was, when I got to the gym, then like I, did, I didn't have the same energy, you know, into my muscles, right? Um, after like day five or day six, my weight really started dropping on exercise and I really started to feel fatigued in my muscles, right? Um, so that was not very nice. Maybe if you do this ketogenic diet for a longer period of time, you start to sort of get used to it. But I personally don't think it is optimal for building the most amount of muscle mass. Now, next to that, there are food restrictions. And, you know, me with my company, My Short Lifestyle, we're all about creating balance and, you know, getting results while enjoying your life. And that's pretty hard during this diet, you know. There are true restrictions during this diet because you can only eat such a little amount of carbs. So like I love apples personally, apples are one of my favorite foods and I'm not allowed to eat apples on a ketogenic diet, you know. So there's just a lot of foods that you're not allowed to eat and there's like little variety because you have to sort of eat the same thing every day. Obviously you can change up recipes and stuff, but there is just nothing in like, you can try out recipes and try to recreate bread low carb, but it's, bread cannot be low carb. It is not supposed to be low carb. Bread is the freaking best there is and during a ketogenic diet you cannot eat bread, you know. And next to bread there are many other sources of food that you're not allowed to eat, so I'm, I'm not a big fan of that because it really puts you in restriction mode. This also leads to another con and that is that social activities are negatively impacted. Because uh, it's kind of hard to like go out and eat with friends. In some countries, you know, maybe in America they have like keto friendly options, but here in restaurants they don't have that. And when you go eat like at friends or you know, have dinner somewhere with a group of people. You don't like, you don't always want to like tell them before, like I'm following this diet, you know. You just want to go with the flow, you know. Maybe you're from Italy, you know, your family is just cooking all the spaghetti for you. You cannot go to like, like say like, I only want like fatty foods, you know. The Italians are not going to agree with that. Your grandma is not going to agree with that, okay. I'm 100% sure. So for a lot of people, this is just, it's not a nice way to balance things. And like food, it brings people together. Food is like a social gathering during ketogenic diet. That is pretty difficult. Next to that, there's a lot of cooking on a ketogenic diet. You know, we have like carbs. There, like there's a lot of carb-rich snacks. You know, like think about like rice cakes. You can just grab them, like a piece of bread with some peanut butter, like real quick. Um, you know, and like meals also real quick. Like at the grocery store, there's all these pre-made meals. And for keto, there aren't really like many pre-made meals, at least here in the Netherlands. So it's like pretty difficult. You, you have to cook all your meals, which at the same time is good because it forces you to cook a lot. But I can imagine like not everybody has time, you know, to cook so much or wants to cook so much. A lot of simple options are not available anymore during the ketogenic diet. Well, yeah, you know, you, you can take a piece of like cheese or something, but that's not a really nice snack or like you can not, not really call it a meal. Another con is bad breath. I started noticing this after a couple days. They call it just the keto breath. And it really is a thing, you know, your breath really smells bad. Even when you brush your teeth, so you have to like bring chewing gum with you everywhere. But when you forget, you like... You, you know that you smell bad, so it's, it's messed up for the people around you, for everybody. So um, now you just have to be very cautious with that. Another con is that you're not allowed to drink alcohol. Now, this was only for seven days, so obviously not a problem for me. But in like a longer, if you do this for a longer period of time or like forever, um, I, I see that definitely as a con. 
they're not allowed to have a couple of drinks because I love enjoying a couple of drinks sometimes. And even a couple of drinks put you out of ketosis. So it's just a lot of things to like take account for. I feel like it's not sustainable for most people. So that's certainly a con. For me, I feel like it's not sustainable in the long run, even like for multiple months. I feel like I would just have to like leave a lot in order to do this diet while a high carb diet would also give me results personally, right? So that's how I personally feel about the ketogenic diet. However, I think it can be great for some people. Um, everybody is different. Everybody needs a different approach. At the end of the day, as long as you're able to stay in a caloric deficit for a prolonged period of time, you will lose fat, you will get results. And if for you it's easier to do that on a ketogenic diet compared to another diet, then I'm all for it, you know? I think for overweight people, this can be a great diet because it really takes away your hunger. You know, so it makes it much easier to eat in a caloric deficit. If, if weight training then also doesn't matter as much, you know, because you're overweight, you just want to really lose weight, lose fat, then I think ketogenic diet could be great for you. And then also for people with diabetes type 2 and with epilepsy, and there have been a lot of studies done on this as well, um, this is very good for those people. So there are certain people uh, that could really benefit from this diet. But I would say for the majority of people that are into weightlifting, they want to get shredded and like live a sustainable lifestyle, a lifestyle of balance, enjoying yourself while getting in shape, I would personally not recommend the ketogenic diet. But as I said, there are exceptions to the rules. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you ever try the ketogenic diet? Will you ever try it? What are your thoughts on it? And also let me know if I should try out another diet maybe in the future. Who knows? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe and I'll catch you very soon. Peace out.